and you can see that we are if we get this one and all the previous ones correct we are at a hundred uh, at an a star that's, that's gonna say 100 percent. we're not quite there yet but we're at an a star so pause the video now and have a go Okay, so for this one you need to know about histograms and about frequency densities. The table here, now what most people would do on this, and I think uh, a lot of people would understand this, is plot the frequencies on this uh, table here, on this graph here. The reason they've left it blank is because they know people will do that. Actually, it's not the frequencies that need to be plotted there. It's actually the frequency density. So I'm going to write that in now. Frequency density. And let's just uh, tidy that up a bit, make it a bit, and sort of get it out of the way. Okay, so it's frequency density that we need to put there. So we need to calculate the frequency densities. And so what we need to do is add. An extra couple of columns onto this and some people just add one and that would be absolutely fine I'm gonna add two to try and make it a bit easier and I don't know whether I need to zoom into this but I'm gonna try it without zooming in for now and then probably regret it okay so what we want to do is we need to add on and I'm t definitely gonna regret this we need to add on uh, class width I'm going to write down as CW for class width and that's something you always need to calculate when you're working out frequency densities and we also need uh, frequency density I'm just going to put FD for short because I'm running out of space with this okay so to work out uh, these things I need to understand what the relationship between uh, frequency density frequency and class width is and I can do that by drawing a little triangle, which I'm going to do over here. Now, frequency on a histogram is shown by area, which means the frequency is at the top of this little triangle. And frequency density and class width are at the bottom. So if I've got frequency, which I have, if I can work out class width, which I can, to work out the frequency density, I'm going to divide them. So let's work out the uh, class width uh, column first. This is 60 to 65, which means the class width is 65, take away 60, which is 5. This is, again, 5, but it's not always going to be the same. So 70 to 80, well, that's 10. And 80 to 100, well, that's 20. So don't get in the habit of saying, well, these are both five, therefore it will be five in total. Okay, so let's work out the frequency density. And I know I need to divide these. And this is the beauty of adding these two extra columns, is for some people it helps remind them what they need to do. 15 divided by five is three. 25 divided by five is five. 36 divided by 10 is 3.6 and 24 divided by 20 well 24 divided by 2 is 12 and 12 divided by 10 is 1.2 so I need to plot these onto the graph here and this is going to be very difficult being the tiny little graph that it is the maximum one is 5 so looking at this, if I go up in point ones, let's see if I've got enough. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Well, that's a coincidence. So it'd be one, two, three, four, and five. There. Okay. And all I need to do is do uh, boxes um, at the relevant um, classes at the relevant places so 60 to 65 be a box between 60 and 65 now it's very difficult for me to tell where the halfway point is I think it's here and it needs to have a height of 3 so I'm going to have height of 3 
Okay, so I should be up to something like that. Okay, next one is going to be between 65 and 70, and it's going to have a height of 5. And this isn't really looking brilliant, but yours probably will look a lot better. Next one is 70 to 80, and it will have a height of 3.6. So 3.6, that's 3.5 there, so 3.6 will be there. And next one is 80 to 100, and it will have a height of 1.2. So if it's 1 there, 0.2 will be there. Now you don't need to shade these in or anything else. Uh, leave it as they are. Uh, make sure you've labelled it with frequency density as well. Okay, so it says work out an estimate for the number of cars with a speed of more than 85 kilometers per hour. So we're looking at where 85 is on our histogram, and let's try and get a. Uh, there we are. So 85 will be, and let's shade this in. So 85 will be here, and if you have a look looking at how many are in this rectangle that I've just shaded in. Now this rectangle you might notice is three quarters of the big rectangle and if there's a frequency of 24 within the big rectangle and we're looking for three quarters of that then the way of answering this question is simply find out three quarters of, which means times 24. Find three quarters of something, you find a quarter of it, so I halve it then halve it again, which is six, and then times it by three, which is 18. So the answer to that is 18. Okay, let's have a look at the mark scheme. So you can see here that the frequency densities were 3, 5, 3.6 and 1.2 and you need to do the proper histograms. I uh, don't know if that says you needed the uh, to label it, but I would imagine you'd need to label it. And this one here is just 3 quarters of 24, which is 18, so 2 marks.